reason why you want to My position here at the university's career center is very well-rounded. We do everything from the one-on-one -on -one student appointments. Who do you want to hire right now? What are the skill sets you're And then the other part of our job is the networking piece. I think one of the biggest initiatives that we've had is to get students to take an active part in their post-UNH plan way ahead of time. So this plan doesn't start senior year, this plan starts freshman year, where they've identified a major or identified an interest even, and when they come in, we are showing them how to work LinkedIn. You know, the ins and outs of finding not only UNH alumni that work in the field, but finding anybody that works in your dream job and then scrolling back through their profile and kind of seeing, okay, here's where they are, where you want to be, but what was their first job out of college? What was their first internship? And really giving students tangible steps, digestible bites that they can see, okay, if I want to be here, I can get there. They got there by doing these things, I'm going to try starting there. I actually was from Dover, so I commuted. I graduated from the journalism program here in 2007. The writing was on the wall that the recession was sort of looming and newspapers weren't really doing that well. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go back to bartending and I just was freelancing on the side writing. And I wasn't, I, was, I mean, I was that exact student that comes into my office now with no plan and had no idea what I was doing. Thank you for having me. Um, and sure. seven years later, I've been in the employment sector ever since and it's been a really interesting transition because career services has really become this pocket of industry that it never was before. You know, you have people that are aspiring to be career counselors now, which is so interesting. A really big part of what we do in this department is hosting the biannual UNH career and internship fairs, and so we've had upwards of 140, 150 companies. It always makes me kind of chuckle because there's always you know, the, the girls that show up with the, the heels that are this big. And we always try to pull them aside and say, why don't you come see me after the fair? Let's talk and let's get you really ready for the next fair, you know? Or the guys that show up and they just bought the, the shirt in the package the night before and they didn't iron it, so they've got the lines <laughs> all over the shirt. But that's why, that's why you love doing this, because there was a time before any of us had full-time jobs and you had never been to a career fair, so how do you help those students go through that first experience and work out the kinks and then really come to the next fair and, and nail it? I think for me, I have so much more pride you know, working here than I really did when I was a student, but I think that that's a huge testament to what our office is trying to do and what our faculty and staff are trying to do for these students. So, I mean, I definitely bleed blue and white now, and I don't think I could have said that before, so.